Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the HashiCorp configuration language, also known as HCL. I'm gonna tell you, I was really confused at the start working with Terraform because sometimes they'd mention things like HashiCorp configuration files, HashiCorp configuration language, Terraform language, and I could not discern you know, what the difference was, but so this is the idea here is to give you that clarity, okay? So HCL is an open source toolkit for creating structured configuration languages that are both human and machine uh, friendly for use with command line tools. And it's an open source project, so you can find it at github.com forward slash HashiCorp HCL. So the idea is that they have this baseline language that you can extend for your own use case. So uh, Terraform is using it. And so uh, it uses a good, like it uses the language itself, but then it goes ahead and extends it by adding additional functionality for its specific use case. And this HCL uh, based language is not just for Terraform, it's used for Packer templates, vault policies, uh, boundary controllers and workers, console configuration, waypoint application configuration, nomad job specification. Uh, and this one isn't a HashiCorp product, but this is an open source project called Shipyard and you can use it for Shipyard blueprints. Surprisingly, uh, Sentinel, uh, which is a HashiCorp um, policy as code serv uh, service, um, does not use uh, HCL, but it has its own HCL ACL uh, custom language. Uh, but the idea is that, you know, we're looking at mostly uh, the use case is for um, HashiCorp services. But if you wanted to extend this language for your own use case, you totally could. Uh, and so I think that's really cool. But hopefully that kind of distinguishes between HCL and Terraform language, okay?